Hey guys, what's happening? Engineer Pat 5290 coming to you with April's Q and A. Um, reason I had two tabs up is because one of my uh, fellow YouTube friends, uh, Standard Gauge Rarer, submitted questions to me, and there was a technical glitch, uh, and somehow I didn't get his questions. So we're friends on Facebook, and we did this because it was an emergency situation, and we were able to fix it. So, so to Standard Gauge Rarer, I want to say thank you for working with me on this. You are awesome. Um. He's put him in on Facebook. What you doing for 2,000 subs? I don't exactly know. Um, any spoilers? Nah, I'm going to leave that alone. Favorite rail fanning location? It has to be Suffolk. It has to be my own home city, man. Um, I think I know the answer to this one here. RS3L or the, or the RS5T. Actually, I like both. RS3L is my favorite Leslie Horn of all time. My second favorite, RS5T. P3 or the P5 has to be the P5 for the win. K5LA or K5LLA. Oh. Oh, boy, you're killing me. Mm. Both of them are good. I would prefer the K5LLA on the SD70 ACE. And I would also prefer the K5LA on a Dash 9W or an AC44C6M. Right, let's see what else he's got. Winchester and Wester or Conrail shared assets operations. Oh, I knew this was going to be a good one. Hmm. Hmm. You got me thinking, son. Hmm. I like both. I like both for, for, for a good reason. Number one, they run EMD power. They run all the good EMD power. Second of all, both of which have good crews and out of the Commercial Assets video you've seen, which video, which crew is your favorite? MI-61, uh, WPMI-61. Peterbilt 389 or a Kenward W900. <laughs> both are my favorite rigs. I like both. I like both. Uh, Kenward T600 or the T2000? Got to be the T600. The T600 was a good body style. How much could a woodchuck a woodchuck chuck excuse me, um how much could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I'm sure it's a lot, son. <laughs> and the final question oh god, this is revenge. This is a really good revenge. When are you coming to Jersey, bro? You're killing me. <laughs> Hopefully it's gonna be sometime soon, okay? I gotta get up there. So, um, I got to get up there, buddy. So thank you very much for the questions. You are awesome, man. So um, getting back to the video, um, Railfan or K5LLA or the K5LA. I answered that earlier. That was the K5LLA. Um, N&W or Conrail. Oh. Hmm. Has to be Conrail. It's got to be Conrail. Conrail had the better fleet of engines. How many Harrogate Junes have you caught? 15 of the 20. Um, I'm not going to name them, but if you would like for me to name them, I will do that in a separate video. Take, that was Railfan Hunter that buzzed in on that one. Take Username comes in with a very nice list of questions. Do you prefer Freightliner or Peterbilt? Peterbilt for the win. If you were to found, found your own railway company, what would you name it? Hey, that's an interesting question. I've never had one of these questions before. Um, I would just name it. Um, let me think. Um, Southeast Virginia Railway would be a good one. If you had to give Southern Pacific a new color scheme, what colors would you give it? I will tell you my favorite paint scheme out of the Southern Pacific was the original with the bloody red nose and the uh, block lettering that was centered on the locomotive. I never liked Kodachrome. Um, the Black Widow was good. I also never liked the speed lettering on the EMDs. The speed lettering looked better on the GEs. So I really wouldn't give it a new color scheme. But if it was for the Ds, it would be the Daylight Scheme. Favorite card game? Hmm. Has to be Gin Rummy. Favorite type of rolling stock cars? Railroad, rolling stock or railway cars? I like them all because they're all different. Have you ever seen or ridden a 19th century or early 20th century steam locomotive in operation, like for excursion services? I have, 
I've been on a train that has pulled that pulled a nice steam train. It was a um, the Great Smoky Mountains Railroad that actually has a um, um, I believe the engine was built about 1944 for the uh, U.S. Uh, Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, so that's one of the steam engines I've ridden uh, in my lifetime. Well, would you rather be a trucker or work for the railroad? Work for the railroad. CP or CN prefer, why do you prefer and why? Canadian National, because they have the cooler fleet of engines, and also they even have some heritage units in there too, which they've taken some GTW engines and just put them back in GTW paint. They've got IC locomotives left. They've got a lot of heritage locomotives left. So that's a really good plus there. Favorite Mexican railroad? Hmm. I'm trying to think. It's Ferromex and KCSM now. I like both of them. I like both of them because they both have really good fleet of engines. VIA Rail or Amtrak. I like Amtrak because it's here in America, but VIA Rail runs more F40 PHs over there. So, thank you very much for the awesome questions. Andrew Leob comes in with uh, three questions this time. Are you going to film the Big Boy 4040 in, in May? Don't know yet, but I will definitely follow the coverage of it. Now, are you going to film the 611 running the Strasburg Railroad in late September? That is a possibility. That is a possibility there. Are you going to film any tourist narrow gauge heritage railroads such as Congress and Toltec or the Durango and Silverton? I have considered that. That they're on my bucket list. They're on they're on my uh, rail fan to do list. But those are really interesting railroads there um, that I would like to look at. So thank you, Mr. Leah, for the questions. Logan DeWittler. Brand new, uh, a new YouTuber who's bumped in with some questions, seven questions. Do you like the CSX ET44 AHs? It's okay. I mean, it's just a G. I would prefer them in Norfolk Southern paint. Favorite train horn of all time? Okay. Um, favorite Leslie horn of all time? Uh, RS3L. All time Nathan horn? I'm split between two, but my favorite older Nathan Horn is the P5, and the favorite newer Nathan Horn of mine is the K5 LLA. Favorite train car? I like them all because they all serve different purposes. Favorite CSX, NS, or UP heritage unit? I don't like any of CSX because they're just sticker units. I like all of Norfolk Southerns, and I like all of Union Pacifics, especially the George Bush unit. And I also like all the other heritage units that they've done. Favorite paint scheme on a diesel locomotive? The Southern Railway's tuxedo paint. Looks good on any high hood locomotive they ever bought. Where's the best place to rail fan in Ohio? Okay, all the ones you've mentioned here. It's Marion, Fostoria, Berea, Attica Junction, and Bellevue. All of those are good spots. I've heard lots of good reviews about them. I, plan, I think I'm planning to maybe go there someday and get some trains over there. So all of those spots you've mentioned are really, really good spots. Favorite Fallen Flag route? I have a whole list of, of Fallen Flags I like. The Southern, the Conrail, um, Western Maryland, Seaboard Airlines, Seaboard Coastline. Um, let me think. I'll name a couple of more for you as well. Um, hmm, the ATS, the Ashton, Topeka, and Santa Fe, and the Southern Pacific. There are just a few. And I also like the Chessies because my uncle worked for them uh, back in the 70s. Next um, is Stephen KCS Railfan. Glad to see you're back. Uh, you have any rare museums on your to-do list that you would like to visit? Um, I've had a couple in mind. Um, I would love to see the Illinois Railroad Museum over there in Union, Illinois. And i also like to go see the, um, the Railroad Museum in Campbell, California, which I believe is the San Diego Railroad Museum. Um, where There Goes a Train was filmed in parts of it. So uh, that's a good one. Any international trains around the world you like? Um, they're different, but I like the French TGV. RS3L, 5T or P5, mentioned before. RS3L, all-time favorite Leslie. P5, all-time favorite Nathan of the older ones. Favorite Class 2 Railroad, Florida East Coast. AD Mac or the ACE, I like both. Think of any special paint scheme for NS that would be con that would it be and what kind of locomotive would you see it wearing it? Um I would really like for them to see a breast cancer unit. It would look really nice on um, on an EMD. Santa Fe of the Southern Pacific has to be the Santa Fe. 
Any BC Rail units that you've seen, I've always seen one. It was a Dash 9W. It was number 4652. It's in the blue and white paint. F40 PHs are the Dash 8s for Amtrak. Um, definitely the F40 PH. Let's see. Who comes up next? Hunter Evans comes up. Three questions. Two, truck spot related. One, SD7 AC Tier 4 related. Favorite semi-tractor model and trailer type. I like all trailer types, but I love the Peterbilt 389 and the Kenworth W900 and the Freightliner Classic XL. Favorite truck horn, anything with a train horn is good. Would it be better if the Tier 4 Ace was built with ACC cab instead of the current cab? Well, they pretty much look the same to me, but I would rather see the SD70 ACE type cab that we're all used to seeing with that engine. So, um, that's that. Um, if you could go, Hamburg Railfan jumps in. I'm glad to see you're back. If you could go anywhere to Railfan, where would you go? I would love to go out west and do some rail paint on the BNSF Southern the Transcon in La Plata, Missouri. All right, so that's his question. BNSF Bishop comes in. Favorite GE locomotive out of the older ones, B36-7. The newer wide cabs, AC6000. Favorite standard cab, GE-8. Will 60Es be on any other railroad? No, that is a primarily Norfolk Southern rebuild. How many is AC44 C4 ends have you seen? Zero. They're the rebuilt Dash 9Ws from Santa Fe. I have not seen any of them. Will they make any more? Depends on what the crews think. Why? The, and I stopped making the Dash 8.5s. Um, very, very. They just never could get the emissions right. Updates on the C6Fs? Not at this time. They're reviewing the test as we speak. Why is BNSF skip making the Dash 9Ws in the 4200s? I have no idea on that one. You're going to have to ask somebody who may be familiar with BNSF. Um, I really don't know, but I might be able to find that out. So just, um, I'll hold that one for right now. The last one, um, Conrail 7222 SD80 Mac. Who would win the race between 844 and the Flying Scotsman? Hmm, i got to do some research on that one. Would you rather have a 60 duo or 70 duo on, on VO7? I wouldn't mind seeing both. If you could move to any state, what would it be and why? I really wouldn't move. I would actually stay in Virginia because it's my home state. Why is Fort NS4000 a Nathan P4? That's weird. There's no such thing as a P4 horn. It's probably one of the chimes is out. Favorite BNSF scheme has to be Heritage 1. Um, how many CSX windings are left for GE and EMD? I know GE is... About 400 and some, and EMDs, it's only 22. Would you phone the depth over the Conrad, the 1067, were paired up? That's been recently done. I really, I would be happy to see a Heritage duo. Why rebuild the Dash 9s and not the Dash 8s? Don't ask me why. I'm not sure. Um, you think the, the Bush unit will run again? I don't know. Uh, have you seen any OCS trains? Only one I've seen, Norfolk Southerns. Favorite truck and company. I like a lot of different companies. My favorite truck um, for Peterbilt is the 389, and the Kenworth W900, and also for the Freightliners is the Classic XL. So lots of good questions here. Lots of good questions here. I'm very glad that a lot of you took the time to do this, and I want to thank all of you for doing it. So um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and looking forward to May's prompt, and we will be having some fun. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'm Engineer Pat 5290, and I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.